What's up, everybody? This is Jose from Southern Life. Welcome to Braden, Tucky, Florida, aka the Roly Polyville. Shout out to everybody in Bradenton. Uh, it's 3:45 in the morning, and we're gonna drive through Bradenton at 3:45 in the morning and show you guys the beautiful and splendid city of Bradenton at 3:45 in the morning. Just finished my Uber driving, and. Uh, I'll tell you some stories about the passengers I had tonight to make the ride colorful. Um, I do uh, late night for a few reasons. For one, there's less traffic and congestion, and uh, it's less tiring, more dangerous for sure. And there aren't enough passengers in the daytime. I'll tell you tonight's wild adventures, Uber driving. So I I, I just dropped off a lady, and uh, bless her heart. Nicest lady I ever met. Um, she accidentally put in the wrong address. Now, I, I picked her up at the airport. And uh, she lived on an east address on the water. But she accidentally put in a west address in the hood. So I'm coming up US 41. And I turn into the address she had put into there, which was wrong. And this lady nearly had a heart attack. Somebody just... Slumped over right there, man. Right? Two dudes right there just slumped over, man. Right? I guess this lady uh, did not want to go to the hood at four in the morning. <laughs> oh, she she uh, she was coming back from the airport in Sarasota, and uh, when she saw me turn into this neighborhood, the lady just about had a heart attack. She thought I was gonna kidnap. I don't know what she thought was happening, bro. Get out of the road, you! Brandon Tonin! You don't get hit! <laughs> I tell you what, man, this fucking Brandon ain't got no common sense down there. I tell you what, we're riding that bicycle down the middle of the road. Saw somebody getting arrested earlier, too. Um, right on the middle of the road. And this cop didn't even give this guy the decency of pulling him over uh, properly. But this lady, she was hysterical. She was like throwing her hands up and freaking out. She's like <laughs> thought her life came to an end all of a sudden or something, you know. Like I'm like, ma'am, what is going on? Are you okay? She's like, why are you back in here? I'm like, this is the address you put in. She's like, no, it's not. I'm like, ma'am, I'm gonna pull over somewhere that's safe and wallet. She's like, please don't pull over here. She's like, please don't stop. This lady, uh, imagine she ended up. I can't say her address for privacy. But she ended up on the on the same number, but on the wrong side of town. You know, she was on the east side by the water. She ended up on the west side by the hood. One of the worst neighborhoods in the whole city. And she's just like, why are you bringing me here? <laughs> this lady thought she was going to die down there in that 7-Eleven, man. And she just freaked the crap out, man. It was just a random dude standing there by the road, randomly. This lady just freaked the crap out, man. She Get off the road! Oh, my God! You almost dead, bro! You didn't even see it coming! Get off the road, you bunch of crack hands! Uh, yeah, this is Brandon at night. Anyways, I, this lady flipped the crap out. Like... She was like about, and she was like bragging about, oh, I live in red, and then I'm like, okay, lady, that's fine. Good for you. I'm driving her, and she's like bragging about Bradenton, and like, oh, I live in Bradenton. I'm like, okay. Mm, okay, whatever. And then I pulled in the street, she's like, not this part of Bradenton! I'm like, okay, calm down, lady. She was absolutely like panicked out, crying, like, is that a cat running full speed through the hood? I was getting arrested right here earlier. He might still be there. The guy got arrested right there. You see that uh, Florida State Trooper? <coughs> right there, the Florida State Trooper just had a guy in handcuffs right there. He must be. By the way, a big round of applause for Manatee and Sarasota County stepping up their DUI arrest. It's definitely needed. I have never seen so much law enforcement presence in uh, Sarasota. Well deserves this car right here. He didn't even he got he arrested him on the road. Forget about putting him uh off the they pulled him over on the road and they arrested him right on the road. He's in handcuffs. I hope the homie snitches or something to get out of it, bro. Cause you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you gotta snitch, dog. You know what I'm saying? Cause you get locked up if you don't snitch, you know what I'm saying? Like 
and a motorcycle behind us. He got arrested. Tell you what, you ought to just lock him up right there. But uh, this is Bradenton, and uh, what a treat to be here. I'm getting the middle lane so this motorcycle can pass me. I am terrified of motorcycles at night. Um, this is a gorgeous Bradenton at night, man. What a what a lovely what a lovely place to be late at night. This lady flipped the crap out. She was just hysterical, bro. <coughs> like she really. She was just terrified. She's like, please don't drop me off here. I was like, ma'am, we're just going to stop somewhere where we're lit. She's like, don't stop in this neighborhood. I was like, okay. So I brought her to downtown, and then we fixed the address and took her. But, like, she flipped out like it was my fault. Like, I'm kidnapping her or something. She was just like, I was the one doing something wrong to her. I was like, she's the one to put in the address wrong, you know. But she's had a long day and whatever. It's understandable. I had two old guys. Now... You guys might have heard my story about the two, what were they, uh, Ukrainian Russians? I don't remember what the crap they were back there. Uh, I had two old guys that were pretty much doing the same thing, but I put an end to them. When there was the two girls back there doing that, I was like, ladies, uh, actually, I didn't say anything. I was just shocked. I didn't know what to do. Two young ladies engaged and all that. I didn't. I got. I was shocked. I didn't know what to say, what to do, so I didn't say anything. But with the two old guys, I put an end to that. I was like, you two old birds better get your, you're going to be walking soon. Yeah, dude, they were drunk, and they're like, man, I love you, Larry, type of thing. It wasn't Larry. It was somebody else. Again, you got to protect people's privacy. It was like, I love you, Larry, type of thing. And I was like, Larry, you're going to be walking. I'm like, Larry, if you let him love on you, you guys are going to be walking. And, uh, well, they took, I, they were too drunk. Like, first of all, you know your passenger's drunk when it takes like 20 minutes to find the car. So I like pull over in the middle of the road in Sarasota. It's like 3 in the morning. There's nobody around. Walk around and look at the phone and stretch out. And this guy's not showing up. So I'm looking on the map and they had managed to walk like they walked three blocks away from where they were supposed to be. You know, they were, they were literally three blocks away from where they were supposed to be. They were nowhere near where they were supposed to be. But they were drunk. So I drove to where they were, and I was like, are you Larry, or whatever the guy's name is supposed to be, right? And they gotten in there, and there's two old guys, and uh, they're like, man, I love you, Larry, and I love you too, man. And I was like, y'all too, make sure you love each other when you get home. You're not going to love each other in the backseat of my truck. I, I let the little Armenian, I don't know what the crap, Bosnian, Ukrainian, whatever the crap they were, I let them get into that, but you two ain't doing that in my truck, okay? I'm like, I put an end to that. I put an absolute end to Larry and Paul. Okay, I was like, no, not happening in my truck. Two drunk old guys. Nope, that is not what. This is not a Ford. This is a Chevy. You might be able to do that if you were riding a Ford Uber, but this is a Chevy Uber. Not happening, buddy. Not sure why I pulled in here. No, you know, you're not doing that in my truck. Two old guys. I'll put it in. The first time I, I never had that happen. You know. I've always had different, like, you know, guy and a girl, whatever. You just pretend it's not happening most of the time. Two girls, I was shocked. I wanted to tell them to stop, but I was just, like, shocked. I didn't know what to do. But two old guys, I, I put an end to that. I'll, I jump into my, I, I hop in my reflexes. I had a, a lady of, uh, a lady of dancing poles earlier today as well. Picked her up somewhere around here. She didn't want to get picked up at work. She wanted to get picked up, like, behind work on the side. Like, she was too embarrassed to... Let her Uber and driver know what she did for a living, but she did it for a living. I love how she was decent enough not to get picked up where she works. Like, she was embarrassed to get picked up where she works, so she had me pick. Oh my, that car's gonna blow red light. Oh my, okay. A lot of drunk drivers. I've seen four people blow, blow outright blow red lights tonight while driving through Sarasota and Brandon. Um, very scary. Very scary. But I love how this young lady, like, you know, lady of the dancing, uh, she didn't let me pick her up at work. She picked, she had me pick her up next door. And I was like, uh, what am I doing in this empty parking lot? I see it's busy next door, but it's not busy here. She came over. And I just, you know, you could tell the you know, makeup, smell, and you could just tell she was uh, working the poles. You would not believe how many people live in their cars in, in Sarasota and Brains. Let's pull up in here and see if we can find... 
get a an estimate of people sleeping in their cars. It's really sad how many people live in their cars. I know this Target parking lot in the daytime, there's a lot of people sleeping in their cars. And let's see if there's people sleeping in their cars here now. Um, but it was, uh, what else interesting today? We had the old guys that I had to ensure were not loving each other. Um, they were hilarious. I mean, they weren't even nowhere near where they were. So they walked like a few blocks away. Um, I, oh, I had a nice little uh, young Irish looking girl and she was so drunk, bless her heart, passed out in the car and uh, she was just out of it. Nice young lady there. Um, probably not old enough to be uh, drinking, I think, but she was definitely not uh, coherent. But uh, got her home safe. Uh, oh, Hasn't been too interesting. It's been, and that's good. I mean, nothing wild. I mean, over, over driving says so one person sleeping in their car here. Not bad, bro. Um, one guy is sleeping in the. Well, these are probably going to be all people. I don't know if this is a rental company. There's usually people sleeping in their cars out here. Here's one way in the back. It's a lot of people sleeping in their cars, guys. The homeless problem. This car way in the back right here is going to be somebody sleeping in it, probably. Yep, you can hear the engines on. Uh, Sarasota has really stepped up their patrolling late at night. I've never seen so many police cars out in Sarasota at night, so congratulations to the Sarasota Police Department for trying to put an end to the DUI problem that they have. It's out of control. There's been too many pedestrian deaths late at night, so Sarasota is out in full force, and Brainton apparently too. They're really cracking down on DUIs, and they need to. It's out of control. Get a dang Uber. Like, seriously, dude. I mean, the amount of the... Oh, I had one couple. They were pretty fun. Uh, I was a little intimidated because of how drunk they were. Oh, we gotta get gas. Okay, we got gas. I was a little intimidated because of how drunk they were. They were just, let's go this way and we'll come back around. They were so drunk, it was at first scary. Because you get somebody really, really drunk, you don't know what they're going to be like. But they got their act together. They certainly did. And uh, I, I played music for them and they liked it. And then they started suggesting music. And it turned into a decent affair. I mean, we played some Blink-182 uh some country songs and had a blast they were very fun they sanked me I, I got a few tips tonight which uh if we keep going we'll eventually be in sarasota we're gonna pull a u-turn around here somewhere let's try doing it right here in front of this dealership um you know they were very fun and they uh they were the girl sank me she was like thank you so much that was a very fun ride i was like you're welcome so there's a lot of police out and about. There's been a lot of pedestrian accidents, so they have to step it up. <coughs> Part of the pedestrian accident problems is that the pedestrians run out. Have you seen two of them do it during this video? It's like, Bradenton, every night you come out here, you have the potential of hitting somebody. Like, seriously, if you're not paying attention to driving. So imagine, you got people that are DUIing, and you got pedestrians that are just completely out of their element as well. So, of course, every night somebody gets killed in Sarasota or Bradenton on the roads it's ridiculous so but they're really stepping up uh the patrolling for the uis and it's a great thing that needs to happen people need to understand that they cannot drive drunk it's not acceptable um on the right is doña betty's they just closed down about 30 minutes ago but one of the best taco stores in town right there on the right they're only open up late at night uh their tacos are okay i like their drinks more their fresh juices Katie loves their tacos, but hey, each has their own. Turn not to get to this light. Okay, we're gonna need gas. Gasolina. La troca quiere más gasolina. Metele gasolina. So we're gonna go get some gasolina for the troquina at the Wawina with the credit carina that we made Uber driving. Uh, get some. Uh, We'll see what the Wawa environment looks like. But man, the amount of pedestrians that are drunk, high, and doing what we've seen them do tonight, it's every time you come to Bradenton. The, no wonder there's so many accidents, you know? But again, law enforcement, congratulations on stepping up their patrols. 
they really need to get a hold of this DUI situation. Uh, I've seen four people blow red lights tonight. One person was hilarious. I mean, it was like we're leaving downtown Sarasota, and there's like three lanes. One of them is for oncoming traffic. This person went into the oncoming traffic lane, and I'm like, they just stopped there. And then the light turned green. We all drove, and they stayed there. I was like, wow. Yo. Passengers were cracking up. I made some jokes, and then I'm like, that's why you get an Uber right there. <laughs> So, uh, what can I say? A few ladies of the night. Um, no, I don't think I transported anything illegal tonight that I know about. I don't think I had any pothead transportation today. This is the weirdest Wawa on earth. How do you even get into this gas station? You can't pull a U turn here. So, if you want to go to this Wawa, you literally have. Where, where do you eat? How do you even get into this Wawa? It's like the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen on this intersection is retarded and dangerous uh, there's a dude that I was I the, the other day I gave him some stuff here it's a little error so I guess if you're going to that wall well you got to come all the way over here to pull the u-turn I, I guess right oh there's a pedestrian on the road <laughs> unbelievable this there, there's a level of negligence I understand that there's pot heads and crack heads and meth heads and pill heads and top heads and crack heads and zan heads and meth heads and fent heads and tent heads and bit heads down there but at the same time there's a level of negligence from the state counties where i mean these are all state roads so it's a state really I mean, there isn't really good collaboration between the states and uh state's not really communicating well with these cities about maybe it's the state that's failing these cities because these are state roads so you can't really you can't blame the counties and municipalities if it's a state road it's a state's problem let us now engage in fulfilling the gas tank and i'm actually not going to put that much money in. i'm going to put hard times to call for desperate measures i'm not going to fill it up besides we don't want to fill it up because you guys don't want to be here for half an hour waiting for me to fill it up. Actually, let me get on the other pump, give you guys a view of uh, of crackheads so you guys can watch the crackheads while I pump gas. Oh, they've cleaned it. Oh, they got rid of the benches. Dang it. No wonder there's no crackheads here. They don't have crackheads if you get rid of the benches. What happened to the crackheads? The only reason worth coming out here is the crackheads. Okay. Wow, Wita. La guaguita. Let's get some gasolina for la troquina. Use this card right here. Hopefully there's money in it. Tough measures down there. We're getting a half a gas tank. 
We're gonna get a full gas tank. We'll get half that gas tank. There's no crackheads here and I. That's kind of very strange. What happened to the crackheads? <clears throat> America, where even while pumping gas in a freaking giant pickup truck, you have to listen to an ad. What a country. Da -da 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 -da. There's a. Where are the crackheads? A lot of them are leaving. I'm telling you, this new homeless law coming in. It, it's like, whose idea was it to park a bunch of brand new trucks over here? I really didn't think that out very well. I'm gonna be some missing parts up in that mug. There's gonna be a there's gonna be a homeless camp made out of Ford F-350 fenders down there in that wood down there. Like whose idea was it to do that? You know, like seriously, whose idea was it to park those trucks there? Is that you, Jason? So I'm trying to think about all the other interesting experiences I've had tonight. There's the girl. Okay, there was the little Irish girl that was. Definitely passed out in the back. That was one. There was uh let's see here. The old guys went through those. The lady that thought I was gonna kidnap her by taking her to the hood. <laughs> it's like oh man, I tell you what, he white rich white people crack me up. I'm talking about <laughs> take them to the hood and they freak out. <laughs> and it's just like you're the one that brought me here. It was your idea to go here. It's like and she'll never make that dang mistake again. <laughs> Oh, man, I tell you what, man, it's rich white people crack me up, man, I tell you what. Oh, there was a pretty cool redneck. I remember the redneck. There was a pretty cool redneck. Rednecks are the absolute best passengers you can get while Uber driving. Hands down. Was there a party back in here? Yeah, rednecks are the absolute best passengers you're ever going to get. It doesn't matter how drunk they are, they will carry on a conversation. Like, man, I tell you what, there's a lot of crime lately, you know. Rednecks are absolutely my favorite passenger. I, I mean, and I say that from the bottom of my heart. There is no passenger better than a redneck. Oh, I picked up a girl in the hood, doll, in Palm Ghetto. Picked her up in a really sketchy area. Took her to another less sketchy area. She was decent. Um... The redneck guy was pretty cool. He Rednecks are great passengers. Um, for one, they almost always tip. Uh, nobody tips better than a redneck. And a lot of people that are Uber drivers tell me rednecks are the worst. It's just they don't know how to bond with rednecks. Like if, you, if you're riding around in a Prius and you're picking up a redneck, you're not going to get tipped. That redneck has no sympathy for you. But I'm in an F... This is a, 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 a lifted Silverado. GMC Sierra, whatever the crap this thing is. So when a redneck gets in here, he's like, man, that's a truck right there, boy. Let me tell you what. I'm from Kentucky type of thing, you know? Rednecks are the absolute. There's a lot of police out and about. Poo -poo! Ah! Okay. <sighs> Didn't blow that real light. Rednecks are amazing passengers. If you are driving a red GMC Sierra. If you're in a Prius... I hear a lot of Uber drivers complain about redneck passengers. Dude, you're just... You might be driving a Prius, you know? I like redneck passengers. That's why I liked Uber driving in Jacksonville. Because you got that military base up there. And you get rednecks from all walks of life. Here, I've had a redneck from West Virginia. He gave me like a $10 bill. You know? Rednecks, to me, have been very good passengers. I, I have no complaints about rednecks. Um, I'm a Cuban, and I will say... This is a little disappointing. I've never had a happy Cuban passenger on Uber. Now, again, I'm Cuban, so I'm talking about mi raza here, okay? I, I've not encountered a single... Look at another cop over there. They've really stepped up patrols. There's been a lot of pedestrian deaths, so they're really, really stepping up patrols. And they need to. 
police department of Bradenton and Sarasota, please clean this crap up. Send these people to Guatemala. I don't know where you can find a play country to take all these crackheads. And just tell, send them somewhere. Get them out of here. We don't want you here. If you weren't born here, you don't belong. Well, they were born here. and They belong here, but we don't want them here. Okay, get these people out of here. Send them back to Guatemala. Well, they're not from Guatemala. Find a country that wants crackheads, okay, and just get them out of here. Deport these crack. Can't we just deport them? Like, just get rid of them. You know, you weren't born here. You don't belong here. Well, they were born here, but they they don't belong here. Please, Bradenton and Sarasota Police Department, clean up these streets, man. Please, get all these crackheads out of here. Deport them back to Kentucky, wherever the crap they came from. Get them out of here. Clean up these streets, man. Please, I'm begging you. I paid too much money to rent to lick to have to. Wipe these crackheads off my truck every time I get home. Like every night or day. No, I've, I've never had to do that. Um, if I hit one, I'd stop. I think, and I would, you know, uh, make sure that, that I got them. You know, um, you gotta be really careful out here at night. I'm telling you. Like, you guys see like how I drive below the speed limit and stuff like that, and always alert. And you know, I always give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm always assuming they're cracked out. I never assumed they're reasonable. It's dangerous. You know? This is a brand new Silverado. I can't have a crackhead ruin this thing. I just bought it. So, um... It's crazy. I mean, the, the amount of pedestrian accidents and deaths that we've had recently in between Sarasota and Branton, it's been uncoofable. It's been uncoofable. Let me talk about some of my other passengers that I had today. I took somebody... From Lakewood Ranch. I'm trying to remember. It's, it's good that there wasn't anything like... That's good. It's been pretty good. Today was a good day. Now, this week has been horrible. There's days where... The last night, I was going to go out to Uber Drive. I went outside, turned on the app. And there was nothing. I waited for an hour. I was like, oh, I'm going to go back up inside. And there was just nothing. You know, um... Looks like they're really stepping up patrols. Looks like they're really, really getting out there. And I think the fact that there's, there's been so many accidents is probably the reason why they just, they can't. Dude, this is, this isn't, it's been insane out here. It's been accidents, crashes, uh, pedestrian deaths left and right. They have to put an end to it. Both on the DUI, there's a problem. The driver's drunk and the pedestrian's drunk. So the driver hits somebody and they they leave because they're drunk. If I hit somebody, I would not be drunk. So I would get out, help them, you know. Let me take a little short for YouTube of the person's condition. And, uh, you know. Well, that didn't sound right. I have to rethink that one. Around here, you start seeing less crackheads. But, you know, there's the crackheads are unpredictable. They could be anywhere. Um, a lot of people sleeping in their cars in all these stores out here. It's really sad. But, yeah, I've seen an, an increased amount of patrols that it's necessary. It really is, guys. Hopefully they can clean up the streets a little bit. You know, put order. This this place is odd. This is brains and this place is just out of control. I mean, I've never seen anything like Bradenton. It's like baby Philadelphia. Out here, man. I'm tired. I want to go home and sleep. I don't think we saw anything too crazy tonight. I'm trying to recount if there's any more interesting Uber passengers lately. And I think that's about it. Oh, I, I did a few rich people on along the beach, and those are good. You know, they're not memorable because and that's good. I did a few rich people on the island. You know, gated uh, resorts on the island. Those are pretty strong. You know, they're uneventful. They really are. You want uneventful rides. I guess the highlight of tonight would have been the lady that had the wrong address and freaked out and thought I was taking her to the hood involuntarily. This lady freaked out. White people are really afraid of going. They got two police cars right here. Is that police cars? No, it's just 
not police cars, just cars, police cars. Um, you know, white people are afraid of the hood, man. This lady, this is just a mile from where she lives or something, or two miles from where she lives. It's just flipped the crap out. And where are you taking me? What is going on? This lady got hysterical, man. And she's the one to put in the... I stopped in downtown Brains. I said, calm down, man. We're going to get the right address. We stopped in a well-lit area in downtown because she didn't... You know, I couldn't stop in the hood. She was freaked out. It's incredible how... His, how uh, is this a crackhead riding a bicycle to Lakewood Ranch? I'm going to have to call the cops. I, is this a bicycle or a crackhead? It looks like a motorcycle. License plates. Okay, it's a motorcycle. That thing is slow, man. That thing is probably not road legal, man. I'll tell you what. And then we uh, come to Lakewood Ranch over here. The car right there with no dead on the side of the road. Alright, well that's a drive through Bradenton at night. Hysterical women afraid of going in the hood two old guys I had to hit the brakes on and then the two old guys the funniest part is when I finally got to their destination they didn't know which house it was they're asking me like you know which house it is I'm like yeah just pick one that looks nice and walk in there buddy I don't know what to tell you yeah because the two old guys the two old guys they didn't know where their house was I, I get to the street, and they're, I'm like, all right, guys, we're here. They're like, where, where are we? I'm like, uh, this is where you live. They're like, do you know which house it is? I'm like, I'm just your Uber driver. I do not know what house you live in. But pick a nice one, walk in, and hope it's yours. That's today's video. I hope you guys liked it.